Ah, uh, well, g'day everybody and welcome back to Lumberjack's Dynasty. So, I am fully aware that you can uh, that you can load these chipboard pallets uh, onto the truck straight from over here. However, as you all are aware, my gameplay, I, I do enjoy doing things. So, I do really enjoy pulling these things out with the forklift and... Um, and uh, stacking them over here, ready to uh, be picked up by the truck. So I've done that. Um, at the moment, uh, I think I'm going to... We're, we're going to head across to the forest in a minute. Uh, our forest up the road and do some, uh, do some more logging uh, to create some more pallets and stuff. But what I thought I might do for starters is remove some of this scaffolding here. Because I am going to start storing... I am going to start storing uh, uh, pallets for drying because our drying racks are getting pretty close to being finished now, which is pretty awesome. So we'll have our first lot of pallets that we can uh, that we can take off our first lot of dry planks that we can take off and sell, hopefully for a grand old profit. Yeah, let's see. I hope everybody's well. I've been looking forward to getting back into Lumberjack's Dynasty. I uh, didn't do an episode yesterday. Can we get over the fence? No, we can't. So as you can see in here, these are sitting at 41%, 42. Uh, they were the last ones that we put in. However, the first ones that we put in are sitting at 27. 30, 41 and 41. So that's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Now, uh, I, I did continue to get votes for the colour on uh, on Uncle's old Ute here. Um, unfortunately, in the game, you can't repaint the Ute. You can't repaint the Ute, that trailer, or the tractor, the original equipment that you get. So that's a little bit of a shame, really. But uh, as far as tallies were concerned, blue was coming first, followed closely by red, and then purple and cyan were uh, equal. So, <laughs> there you go. All right, let's jump in this thing, and we will head over and uh, and do some uh, do some logging. So I'll see you when we get over there. If I uh, don't get out of the tractor first.
So there you go, we are done. We've got three loads, four, four trees with three loads, so that should be pretty cool, and they should be processing now in the uh, in the sawmill there, which is good. We've got some more uh, dry pallets, uh, some more wet pallets uh, and planks happening, and then uh, we shall take those over to the storage shed, but we also do still have a job running that requires them, so... We will take uh, four or five over to that. So there's our scarecrow there. He's doing a good job. Let's see. Let's remove this scaffolding. Um, somebody was a little bit concerned that I left scaffolding up all over the place. Said that it looked messy and untidy. I was leaving it there because I thought, oh, well, we've got to go in there and paint anyway at some point. But uh, I shall remove the scaffolding. To make the place look a little bit neater. There we go. Alright, that's good. So that's another little task out of the way. Uh, let's see what's up next. Next on the agenda is to uh, check on our greenhouse. And check how everything's going. Everything seems to be going okay. I do want to do a test. Uh, uh, this is to... Um, uh, to uh, hopefully put to rest the debate as to whether this turns off by itself. I am going to uh, turn it on and uh, some people are saying that it turns off automatically once you get to the top of the green. Others are saying that it doesn't turn off. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. There we go, we're nearly up to the top of the green. I, I really don't want to make them too wet, but uh, hopefully it does turn off. There we go. So hopefully that puts that debate to rest, that uh, it does turn off when it gets to the top of the comfort zone. So that's worth keeping in mind. Lovely. Uh, I did duck up prior to filming this to see if I could actually purchase any paint, and I still can't purchase any paint. So I'm not sure whether that happens uh, after I do some sort of a mission or something. But uh, I am very eager to get into painting this place. Uh, also, I'm not overly sure whether at this point we can store anything in uh, here at the moment. Uh, there hasn't been an update for a few days, so it doesn't look like we can. So I'm assuming this is what's going to be our pantry in the end. But... Uh, Definitely looking forward to being able to do that. Now, what are our stats? Let's see. Uh, food, 81. Sleep, 60. Uh, we probably need to eat some food. Let's maybe eat a couple of apples. There we go. Uh, so at the moment, we're at uh, level 2 lumberjack. Uh, basic chainsaws, 1. Picking up and carrying logs, 2. Uh, professional chainsaws. Is that the uh, Ponzi equipment that's at the store? Uh, Builder 2, Mechanic 1, Fisherman 1, and a 1 with Nature. 1 with Lily. Alright, so we're sitting on 82,000 social points and we have 4,379 euros, which is actually pretty cool. Alright, let's, uh, let's head over and start loading this, uh, loading this truck of ours up. Well, actually, it's not our truck. Our truck's down at the job we're doing, isn't it? We're using somebody else's petrol. All right, so they should be processing now. There we go. Let's jump in here, and we will start uh, picking these up. All right. There we go. It's coming out as we need them. Lovely. Thank you. We need another one there. So I'm really glad that everybody's uh, enjoying the, uh, the the content and enjoying this game. Thank you very much uh, for all your absolutely fantastic and wonderful comments. I really appreciate it. Still trying to get to uh, 50 subscribers on the uh, on our Twitch. Um, up to 45 now followers, not subscribers. My apologies, there is a difference. Um, we're up to 45 now, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Been doing some, uh, having some very fun streams. OK, 
Okay, put that in there. We'll drop that down there. This is probably going to be really poor stacking here, but uh, there we go. Drop you down there. It automatically spins around there. Pick you up. Uh, let's go back a bit. Drop you there. We get some semblance of order in here anyway. Put you on there. Ah, oh, there we go. I knew that I was going to mess it up at one point. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, no, don't want to do that. There we go, that should stack on there. Actually, I might pick that up now, now that it's there, and throw it on there. Ah, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. Alright, let's go and pick up another load of that. I'm not sure, I can't remember how many planks we actually pulled out of there, so... I'm not exactly sure... Uh, how many logs, sorry, which means I'm not exactly sure how many we're going to get off the rack. Oh, there we go. Are we getting a little bit eager there? Move forward just a little bit. There's one. I think we needed four or five from memory to uh, to complete this this job that we were doing to free Lily from her debt, so... Hopefully we get uh, four or five out of this one that we can uh, take down with us. There we go. Well, there's the four that we need. One more. Give us another one. There we go. They are coming out really well now. Throw that on there. See if any more come out. I'm, I'm guessing that some more probably will. Or not. Okay, alright, so that looks uh, that looks about it, but that's probably okay for the job that we have to do. Let's have a look at the map. We will scoot out here. Oh, what, what have we got? New quest available, bush trimmer. Chains of the past, build up rest houses for James, so... Mm, we might be able to head past there on our way. So we head straight out, go around, chuck a lefty, spin around there. Beautiful. I should remember where to go by now, shouldn't I? Alright, let's hop in here. Lovely. I will see you when we get over to uh, we might we might I think we might drop by this quest what do you reckon oh don't don't hit us oh there we go thank you thank you very much all right it's like driving in South Australia I'll see you when we get to uh, get to the next quest we're gonna have a look at that brush cutting quest I think that sounds pretty cool There we go, that one was my fault. Excellent driving. Let's have a look at this map. Uh, just up a little bit further. Oh, it looks like it might be up at the motel there. Okay, we'll head in there and see what happens. We don't have too long before we're going to have to sleep, to be honest. Alright, just up here. Park this beast up here. There we go. Thanks for the use of your petrol there, James. Hmm. It might be a little bit too late to get this quest. Are we in the right spot? Let's just double check. Oh, we're close, but not quite. It's maybe down this hill somewhere. 
So I was trying to uh, I was trying to figure out how I might be able to uh, must be down there somewhere I think. I was oh no here we go. Look at that Dylan. Dylan needs us. We need to put on our lumberjack super cape and uh, let's go in and see Dylan. We'll talk later. Oh Dylan. Hi there. Nice to see you. Oh, there we go. Care to trade? Need me to help you with something. Need me to help you with something? I'm really tired of all this grass and bushes. Can you clean it up for me, please? Well, of course we can. Sure, no problem. Reward, 351 euro. Excellent. May need to make sure I hit the right button here. Sure, no problem. Okay, quest update. Uh, mow the grass and cut down the bushes. Ooh, I don't know whether it's there as well. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out how I might be able to... Um, I mean, I can certainly back up my, my save games and stuff like that, but I was trying to work out exactly how to um, um, prevent my game from updating. And on Steam it usually gives you, or some games give you an option, and this one unfortunately doesn't. So if anybody knows uh, how I might prevent that from happening, it would be really cool if you could let me know. Use motor sense. Here we go. Is this going to make everybody dizzy? That's the question. It's nothing like a bit of beastly brush cutting. kind of a little reminiscent of going into Treasure Hunter and searching for treasure. Okay, uh, let's see. Here we go. Now we did buy this brush cutter last episode that's so that we could do some uh, do some neatening up on our farm as well. So, uh, and our farm on our house. So, uh, let's see. Uh, that all looks good there. Oh, hello. Alright, so they want us to get rid of some bushes as well. So we'll do the brush cutting first, I think, and then try and get rid of the bushes afterwards. I'm not overly sure what bushes they want removed. over here. There's some behind this bush as well. I thought we got all this stuff. Okay. This isn't too bad a job really, is it? Uh, it is going down, so I am cutting the right bushes. Or uh, it's cutting the right lawn anyway. This place is in a state, isn't it? Alright. Looking good, looking good. It's 
So this thing chops down these smaller bushes, which is pretty cool. Oh, I've been holding the uh, left mouse button down while I've been doing this, but you actually don't need to. It's a waste of, uh, of finger juice. Don't mind me, just uh, just brush cutting around you. Mm, just brush cutting around Ella, Dylan. Nothing to see here. Carry on, carry on. Whoops. That's not what we wanted to do. So it seems that there's still grass left somewhere. Just uh, chopping these bushes down first. Uh, it doesn't seem to be counting this grass and stuff here, so... 19 bushes left. It's actually a, a bit more work than what I thought it was. There we go. Oh, well, there you go, guys. We are 153 grass and three bushes left from uh, finishing this job. It's a little bit difficult to determine exactly where, what the boundaries of this, uh, of this area are and what the game does and doesn't want us to cut. So what I'm going to do is uh, we might uh, leave this episode here because as you can see we are sitting at 47 sleep we do need to oh we can't have a sausage of all things we can't have a sausage we might eat a couple of strawberries and um, we will uh, what I will do is I will leave this episode here and uh, when we come back for the next episode we'll finish this job off uh, after having a nap Looks to me like there might be a little bit of uh, tomfoolery going on on the bridge again over there. Excellent. It's At least it's not Purple Van Man this time. And there's, <laughs> can you see that in the distance? I don't know whether you can see it, but there's somebody driving along with just headlights and no car body. Oh, I still love this game. So I will see you in the uh, in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. It's a, it's a bit of a mishmash of an episode, wasn't it? Uh, but we did we did make some uh, some more planks, cut some more logs, and uh, and uh, put put a couple of theories to rest. So if you if you like this one, hit like, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm bringing out as much content as I can at the moment in the current situation, uh, but while I'm not going to work, so uh, it'd be great to have you on board. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.